And now we move to the most solemn moment of our event. In just a moment, we are going to have a fired salute to the men who fought here, to those who died here, and to a nation that was ever forever changed by what happened on this field. Following the firing and salute, we're going to read the names of people who fought here. And I want you to look to the skies as we release one floating candle lantern for every state and the U.S. regulars that fought here. As the sounds of those guns echo across this field, today for the first time in 150 years, remember that promise that we made one to another tonight, that the darkness will not fall across our hearts, that the light of this day, though it fades in our eyes now, will never fade from our memory, nor will the memory of what they did here. I would like to ask the descendants of the men who fought here to please stand and as we release these lanterns I would like you to come forward if you'd like and read the name of your ancestor who fought here. Because as we said this morning, as long as someone whispers your name, you are not gone. Would anyone like to come forward? And just form and make a line. Ashbell Fairchild Duncan, 14th Pennsylvania Volunteers. And folks, as these names are being read, please look behind you into the skies and you'll see these lanterns rising in these men's memory. John Lawrence, Private, Company G, 26th Massachusetts. Samuel Hirsch, 87th Pennsylvania. Private <coughs> James B. Randall, 1st New York Dragoons. Corporal William C. Halsey, Company I, 51st Virginia Infantry. Private Daniel Spencer, Company M, 14th Pennsylvania Cavalry. Private Levi Porter, 22nd Virginia Cavalry. James Frederick Schrack, Virginia Light Artillery. John Kirby Jackson, Company C, 51st Virginia Infantry. 